What's a pop a lop and YouTube? It's Rifle Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you the Infinity 8 Killer Easter Egg. This Easter Egg has not been fully solved quite yet. I am bringing you what has been solved so far. I am getting this information from the GTA Forum community website. I will have the link in the description. I have to hand it to the Grand Theft Auto community. They are really cracking down on this Easter Egg, and probably here soon in the future, they will have this Easter Egg fully completed. But as of now, this easter egg has not been checked as fully solved. So I made a video of the clues they might have put together so far. So maybe you guys could help crack down this easter egg even more. Now sit back and enjoy this mystery. Let's get to it. Alright, to start this off, there's a guy named Merle Abrahams. He lived in Sandy Shores. He is a bit cuckoo for the number 8. Most of his clues have eights written around his messages. Merle's house was set on fire and possibly a neighbor wrote on Merle's house saying, go away Merle Abrahams, you're a wrongin'. And in front of his house, there is this message that says there will be eight. Right above it, there is a, what looks like to be a mountain with rocks. I will get more into that the further we get into this video. Inside his house, it says 8 is just infinity stood up. Is this maybe signifying that someone was stood up? Remember, these are just possibilities. You'll also notice around the house there are 5 tally marks. I'll get more into that the further we get into this video. If you didn't know, the symbol for infinity, the snake that eats itself. Alright, on to clue number 2. After his house was burnt down, he fled and possibly lived in the desert or a building on the northern shore of the Alamo Sea. Reports have actually been made that you can still hear screams from a nearby shack. He continued his killings, as you've seen in the front, there will be eight. That is actually a hint of saying there will be eight killings. As you can see, he bragged about that on this rock. One is done, two was fun, three tried to run, four called mom, five's not alive, six is Nix, seven's in heaven, Eight won't wait. As you can see in this poem, eight won't wait. That's signifying him. He is considered eight. Next clue is in the middle of nowhere. He is still on the run from the police. Out here on this rock, he left a message. They want me, they can have, but they'll never get my people. Even though I shall leave them sign enough where they put me. Once again, guys, this will make more sense the further we get into this investigation. Next to this piece of writing is also a following addition, 8 won't. If you remember, 8 won't wait. Maybe the police had just got there and 8 won't, he didn't have time to finish his sentence. On the other hand, this could be meaning that he doesn't have to wait no more. If you noticed in the last poem, he signified himself saying 8 won't wait. Now 8 doesn't have to wait. Does that mean he reached his goal and got eight victims? Now on to this clue. This was one of the most important clues in this mystery. Merle Abrahams is in prison. If you go up to this building and zoom in on this letter, you will see that it reads, Suspected killer Merle Abrahams dies in prison. Merle Abrahams, the suspected Infinity Killer, passed away last night in Rolling Broke Penitentiary. While awaiting trial for abduction and torture, Abrahams, 57, pretty sure that means age 57, was suspected to be responsible for the Infinity Murders, a series of disappearances that happened five years ago. Police believe the eight victims, who were all single young men killed while jogging, were all murdered by the same person and had circumstantial evidence linking Mr. Abrahams to the victims. No bodies were ever found, and Abrahams never confessed, although he did admit to a weird confession with the number 8. Now if you look at the date on the newspaper and the date of the disappearances, we can see that these events occurred quite some years ago. Too late for us to achieve an answer as to why these killings occurred, and why the number 8 held so much of a significance for him. Now this leads us to our next clue, which is in prison. If you see the wall with the number 9 on it, head in that direction. Up against this wall, 
you will see another message left by Merle Abrahams. Now if you zoom in on this wall, you will see a very similar picture as you saw at his house. This picture is more detailed. That's what these rocks were standing for. If you remember one clue he had left, even though I shall leave them sign enough where they put me. He left them a sign where they put him. And this is the sign. Now let's head to this clue on the map. Do you see a similarity in that sign on the northern part of the map? This is where he left his victims. This is where the mystery has been unsolved at. There has only been a total of five bodies found. But in a way, this mystery might just be solved. Because at his house, do you remember those five tally marks? Maybe that was his counting of his victims. But then again, that wouldn't make much sense because the poem he had left. And the police report said, the eight victims who were all single young men killed while jogging were all murdered by the same person and had circumstantial evidence linking Mr. Abrahams to the victims. But no bodies were ever found. So are there eight bodies or are there only five bodies? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you each location of the bodies as best as I can and the surroundings around each body to give you a more understanding of where they are at on the map. These bodies are very camouflaged in the water. I do not suggest looking at night. I had forgot to read this out loud to you guys. At the prison wall, it also said, where water meets land and fire once spewed forth, there the infinity eight shall stay until I return. That about wraps up this Easter egg and what has been known so far for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like to help support this. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and to subscribe to follow this Easter egg. I will keep you guys updated. Peace out, Girl Scouts. There's a sea monster, supposedly, with my two fingers quoting that, supposedly, on Grand Theft Auto V. I'm going to leave that up for you guys to do.